Welcome back to an introductory course on ground support equipment. In this lecture, we will talk about the machine responsible for supplying electrical power to the aircraft when on ground. This machine is known as ground power unit. We will begin with an introduction to ground power unit. Then we will discuss why do we need it and what is the purpose of GPU. We will also learn the concept of why do aircraft need a 400 Hz power supply. Then we shall move on to its types and components. Lastly, we shall conclude this lecture by discussing how it works. When an aircraft is on the ground with its engine off, we need electrical power for various purposes. And as discussed in the fifth lecture, we cannot use jet engines on the ground due to their economic feasibility. Therefore, a GPU supplies electrical power when the aircraft is on the ground. And for that, it either needs to supply a power of its own, which is similar to an AC generator, or it can take input from the utility power supply and transfer it to the aircraft. The main power supply source of an aircraft are jet engines. An aircraft requires 115 volts and 400 Hz power supply, and this requirement is fulfilled by the aircraft engines when in the air. Therefore, Jet engines not only provide thrust for the aircraft to fly but supplies electrical power supply as well. So why does an aircraft require electrical power when on ground? As we have discussed already, when an aircraft lands, it uses the taxiway to reach an aircraft bay for parking. After that, a passenger boarding bridge is engaged for disembarkation of the passengers. Later, the aircraft crew starts servicing the aircraft which includes a lot of different activities that require power. Flight technicians need to check the aircraft electronics to make sure everything is working fine. Aircrafts are also vacuum cleaned and so on. We will discuss it further in section 3. When the servicing is finished, other passengers embark the aircraft, after which the aircraft doors are finally closed. The aircraft is pushed back, taxied to the runway and finally takes off. During this whole process, Till the time the aircraft reaches its bay, engine is on. Afterwards, the engine is turned off. So the aircraft still requires electrical power for passenger disembarkation, servicing and embarkation for the next flight. So this is where GPU comes in. Now an aircraft has two options, either to use auxiliary power unit or ground power unit. An auxiliary power unit is nothing but a mini jet engine acting as a secondary power supply installed in the tail and can power all the equipment without requiring any external aid. But there are limitations to its use. The problem with the jet engine is that they create a lot of noise and also consume a large amount of fuel. Therefore, ground power units are always considered here. So let us move on to another specific question why does an aircraft need a 400 Hz power supply? The answer to the question lies in the relationship between the power transmission and electrical frequency. Domestic electricity uses 50 or 60 Hz power supply. The power plants are built in remote areas from where the power is supplied to homes through transmission cable networks. And using the low frequency power supply, there are low transmission losses which is an advantage of using a low frequency. But the disadvantage is that you will be able to see your bulb flickering. Now the electrical frequency is standardized around the world to 50 or 60 Hertz. If you increase the frequency, transmission losses also increases. But an advantage to that is you can reduce the size of electric motors on the same power. And since weight is of paramount importance in any aircraft, Therefore, aircraft power supply uses 400 Hz that reduces the weight and size of all the equipment. And due to the large size of the aircraft, transmission losses does not mean so much as they are not big enough. Now, ground power units are categorized based on their mobility. They can be either fixed on ground, mounted under the boarding bridge or can be mobile on carts. GPUs fixed on ground are installed on aircraft stand and cannot change their position. Their cable has enough length to be pulled and get attached to the aircraft. They take the power supply from utility power, that is from the airport building, which we will discuss in the upcoming lectures. 
ब्रिज माउंटेड जीपीओज आर इंस्टॉल्ड अंडर अ पैसेंजर बोर्डिंग ब्रिज दे आर प्रिफर्ड बिकॉज दे डू नॉट ऑक्यूपाई स्पेस ऑन द ग्राउंड देर केबल वायर्स डोंट क्रिएट एनी हिंड्रेंस और सेफ्टी हेजार्ड दे ऑल्सो टेक इनपुट फ्रॉम द यूटिलिटी पावर सप्लाई बिकॉज एन इंजन कॉजेज टू मच वाइब्रेशन दैट कैन हार्म द पैसेंजर बोर्डिंग ब्रिज मोबाइल जीपीयूज आर बिल्ट ऑन कार्ट विद व्हील्स दे डू नॉट नीड लेंदी केबल्स बिकॉज दे आर पार्क क्लोज टू एन एयरक्राफ्ट दे आर जनरली इंजन पावर्ड बट नाउ अ डेज दे आर बींग मैनुफैक्चर्ड दैट वुड रन ऑन यूटिलिटी पावर सप्लाई ड्यू टू इन्वायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स सम मॉडर्न मोबाइल जीपीयूज आर ऑल्सो बैटरी पावर्ड दे कैन बी चार्ज वंस देयर बैटरी इज ड्रेन्ड एंड दिस टाइप इज कॉमनली यूज इन एयरपोर्ट फॉर सप्लाइंग पावर टू द एयरक्राफ्ट पार्क ऑन रिमोट स्टैंड so let us discuss how does the gpu works the airport building has a power supply of 440 volts three phase 50 or 60 hertz and the aircraft requires 400 hertz with 115 volts three phase power supply for this utility power supply conversions are employed to the ground power unit to operate as required power supply from the building is transferred to an analog to digital converter which is simply a full wave bridge rectifier it is then processed into a digital to analog inverter where the frequency is transformed and lastly the power supply is transferred to a step down transformer and finally supplied to the ground power unit after which it is transmitted to the aircraft there are certain standardizations in gpu capacity All commercial aircraft require GPUs of at least 90 kVA capacity. Smaller aircraft in this regard have a single receptacle of just one cable whereas large aircraft have multiple receptacles in which multiple cables of 90 kVA each are plugged in. The GPU plug-in adapter or connectors are also standardized to fit all the aircraft. So now recall the classification of aircraft by ICAO aircraft code as discussed in the previous lecture. This classification also relates to the aircraft ground power requirement. Code C and D aircraft require a single cable connector of 90 kVA. That is they require a single GPU with a single cable. Code E aircraft are wide body aircraft and they require more electrical power. So they require two GPU receptacles with two cables of 90 kVA each and when it comes to code f aircraft they may require 490 kVA cable connectors because of its extreme power requirements depending upon its huge size so i hope that you understood the basic principle and working of the ground power units with this i conclude my lecture here on gpu see you all in the next lecture